Congratulations to my RX Muscle family for your 1,000th episode of Muscle in the Morning. From my second chance family to yours, God bless you guys for a thousand more. Congrats. from everyone here at Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Monday, January 2nd, 2017. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. While the rest of the world was popping champagne and making New Year's resolutions, they have no intention of keeping. Do you know what 212 powerhouse Marco Rivera was doing? Well, he was busy not skipping leg day. New leg training footage from the New York native shows the two-time Olympian looking bigger and better than we've seen from him in the past. Last season, Rivera brought what was arguably his all-time best look into New York, and the judges rewarded him with a second-place finish. If he can add a few pounds of quality muscle in all the right places, 2017 has a chance to be a big year for Marco. Marco Rivera isn't the only one looking to make a big splash at this year's New York Pro. It looks like Clarence DeVise has set his sights on bringing his talents back to the greatest city on earth. In some new progress photos that surfaced late last week, we see DeVise looking about as big and as lean as we've ever seen from him in the offseason. By all accounts, DeVise has been training like a man possessed as of late, and expectations are riding high in the DeVise camp for the upcoming 2017 season. Last year was without a doubt the best of his career, so don't let it come as a surprise if he sneaks in and scores a win or two before next season is all said and done. Back in the late 80s and early 90s, the bad boy Pistons earned the reputation as being the biggest and meanest guys to ever come out of Motown. But for the money right now, the title's resting pretty squarely with Ken Jackson. New chest training footage released late last week shows the Motor City bad boy cranking out reps with some serious weight as he continues his onslaught on the offseason. Despite missing the mark a few times last season, overall Jackson has been on a major uptick over the past two and a half seasons. So if he can figure out how to shore up a few minor details, I can see him crashing the party in a few top fives later this year. I don't know what it is about the air out there in the 619 area code, but it sure does have a way of cranking out some high quality talent, doesn't it? And I'm sure if there's anyone out there repping 619 harder than our old friend Pete Ciccone, I'd like to know who it is. This weekend some new shoulder training footage surfaced of Mr. 619 himself hammering out another nasty off-season workout. Don't let the fact that he's north of 40 fool you, because each and every time Pete Ciccone is taking that stage, he's finding new ways to make improvements. So if he can pick his spots correctly, he can certainly do some damage in the 212 division late in 2017. Hey guys, it's Stevie B here. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button below and never miss another RX Muscle show segment or update. RX Muscle is number one. Woo!